Okay, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Details. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to call the Marion Township Board of Supervisors meeting for Saturday, August 26th, 2023 to order. Time is now 9.05 a.m. Um, as always, the meetings are being recorded for audio and video. We ask that everyone, uh, myself included, silence your cell phones so that we don't disrupt the flow of the meeting. And uh, for anybody interested, there are masks and hand sanitizer in the front of the room. We are uh, going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, so I'd ask that everybody please rise. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, under good and justice for Okay, this time I'll open the floor to public comments. Se seeing, seeing none, uh, we'll move into the main items for discussion. The first item is the Act 537, and we actually have Kim DeRosa from Hydroterra with us this morning. Thanks for coming out, Kim. Um, uh, we actually received the revised schedule from Hydroterra for the milestones. Um, it looked good to me. I know you guys kind of looked at it and gave it your, your seal of approval, too. Um, we will need to make a motion to approve this and uh, send that off to the uh, PADEP. Uh, we would also need to authorize Hydroterra to prepare a special study for the low-pressure sewer design. And uh, as a side note, the intermunicipal agreement is currently under review by the Wollensdorf Sewer Authority. So, uh, Kim, if you want to say anything before we go into motioning about turning over the milestones and authorizing you guys to start doing the special study. Okay, perfect. So uh, I'll make a motion to authorize and approve the submission of the new milestone compliance schedule to PADEP. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Next motion is to authorize Hydroterra to prepare a special study for the low pressure sewer design. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Okay. Dovetailing onto that point, uh, the next thing is the revised on lot sewage disposal system ordinance. Uh, ordinance was drafted, and we could theoretically act on that on Thursday night. Um, the one thing that I noticed, because I read this initially while I was on a plane, and then I read it again. I don't see anything in there stipulating the requirement of them submitting the reports a certain way. There's this bits about registering with us, but I, I think we want to have something in the ordinance that requires them to submit uh, the stuff through our preferred channel. Because we don't want to have them mailing stuff into Sue. We want to have them doing the, the exact thing that we say, like whether it's like the web portal for, for HydroTerra or mailing it to an SEO or whatever it has to be through our prescribed method. And I think the only way that that's going to be enforceable is if it's in the ordinance. Oh, I agree. We have to make sure that the language isn't, is broad enough so that if the methods of submission changes along with technology mm -hmm. innovations. Well, yeah, we don't want to be so, so, so rigid and yeah. narrow yeah. to say like, it must be through higher yeah. terrorist platform. Yeah. Uh, again, we'd have to check with Colin, but yeah. I would say that all uh, inspection forms must be submitted in accordance with Marion Township's uh, current guidelines for filing. Like something like that should cover us in the sense that if yeah. we change in the future, let's say Hydroterra says, you know, we're not doing it anymore, we're going to have um, so Pat here, Shark Hess do it. It says within five calendar days of pumping, blah, blah, blah. Um, Which section is that, Sue? So on that page three. Yep. Under section three, shall the pumper holder sh shall submit and su complete and submit with the township in a manner prescribed by resolution a sworn pumper report subject to penalty. Blah, blah, blah. Like, is that oh. good enough or not? Oh, the resolution it, can be more specific. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. I think that that technically yeah. we would have to have a resolution then to accompany this. Like it would have to be a separate document. Well, that's that's the next agenda item. Uh, okay. 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 So yeah, I, I withdraw my concern okay. then because that was the only <laughs> okay. that was quite quite literally 
quite literally the only thing that was a, a, a spot for me was like, if we don't have this in there, then we open ourselves up for too much variability yeah. on that. Like, is that? No, that, that should be okay. Yeah. I was, I was figuring it was going to be one, one, one document. document, but if it's two, then that's fine. Cause then we can just change the, we can change resolution periodically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Colin is the expert, and so I just say this really off kind of from my understanding, but I think we want to do the ordinance and resolution route because if something does change in the future, it's very easy to change the resolution and not have to go back yeah, and yeah, augment that. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 Right. and the resolution is going to be based on the method of submission, and we'll have those easy directions for everybody to follow. Excellent. Yeah, I I trust in Colin, but uh, it's it's good to to give it a second a second set of eyes on it because sometimes you don't see the forest for the trees. So, okay, um, I'll make. Actually, so, we should so wait until Thursday. We should wait until Thursday. Yeah, we should wait until Thursday. Yeah, no, I should. I agree. We should wait until Thursday. Yeah, yeah please. Sorry. Can't That's bear. quite all right. It's good exercise getting up and down. Um, with the ordinance and resolution, there's still a few things that I think we're looking over. And so we're going to touch base with Colin on Monday and or Tuesday, just to verify that everything's kind of locked and loaded, if that makes sense. Okay. So we may or may not want to adopt it on Thursday, depending on legal's opinion. Um, okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So the next one is the resolution. Um, we can't do that until the, res the uh, ordinance is adopted. This will specify, like we talked about, the information and some of the documentation required on the pumper uh, and pumper's report. Um, we will need to send letters as a response out to property owners and pumpers around this change, but we'll have to do that kind of as the, the third step. We do, and I'm starting to get calls because people are due by the end of the year and they're, yeah. now they're like- Well, what I, what I would say, and this is something that we as a board should decide and authorize like Chuck and Hydroterra and stuff to action a certain way is because we know this is changing, we won't, we're not that we were going to anyway, but be super draconian about like, oop, January 1st, you missed your cutoff. Oh, we're going to start. Yeah. Like, I had yeah. two calls this week yeah. and I'm like, well, we're not going to come out and like, yeah. Fine. I'm, I'm glad it's people are being proactive and paying attention to it. Yeah. Or something, yeah. you know. Yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm glad that people are you know, paying attention to it and trying to be proactive, yeah. but just tell them like, we're trying to make a change right now. And we're kind of in the, yeah. in the flux and of I, things. Start to by saying, you know, we're in the process of changing the procedure. Can you wait a month or two? Mm -hmm. And these two people this week said, no, I can't. I'm like, okay, well, this, I'll make sure you pick the pumper, you know, let me know who it is. And yeah. I will make sure the pumper gets the table. Yeah. And that's honestly probably the best way to do it. If they can't wait, yeah. then we'll we'll work something out with them so the pumper inspects it, yeah. does it with the form that we're going to be using ideally, and then sends it in. Yeah. So yeah. I think so far they've all been the same pumper. So okay. Well it's good. Okay. It's good. good. It makes it easier. But yeah, yeah. like with anything else, this isn't this isn't our decision really. We have to, we, it has to be inspected. Our decision is kind of how yeah. it gets right. inspected. Um and we, we're not trying to make anybody's life difficult. We're trying to, to, to meet legal requirements in the easiest, yeah. simplest, cheapest way possible. So, okay. Uh, next is the LSA category four program grant. Uh, last month's meeting, a motion was made to authorize Kimberly to prepare and submit the grant application using the low pressure sewer design. The deadline for submittal was, or is September 30th. The projects must in, uh, include uh, community quality of life, uh, infrastructure planning, design, and construction are all eligible for the projects, and there is no match required. Um, do you have any update on that, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> just just say there. Yeah, just say it. It, yeah. It's great. Um, so the grant writing process is going smoothly. I'm reviewing our prior grant to see um, all the progress we've made, so I'm very excited about that, and I think um, the agency will be excited about the progress as well. Um, at this time, I'm getting in contact with the grant representatives just to try and see what they might be looking for um, for this round. And also one of the important things is to get in contact with our officials. I spoke with Sue this week on the phone 
Um, so we're going to want to get in touch with our senator, our PA state representative, and have them throw their support behind this project. Um, now that a lot of our homeowners are really involved, I would love to see a good number of letters from homeowners in support of a low pressure system design, knowing the costs involved. Um, I think it'll be beneficial for everyone if that's possible. So really, I think our focus in the next two weeks, if we can, is to get those letters in because the narratives are pretty simple to write and revise this time around, knowing the project so well. Um, so you that'll be key. Letter for us? Might be difficult to get yeah. people to, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. to do that. I realize um, it could be, they can just be very simple. Um, I've had other grants in the past year where a homeowner simply wrote, hey, I live here and I'm on a fixed income or we have a serious health issue in the family and knowing that this project would reduce costs ultimately in the long run for me, that's fantastic. They're not looking for something um, very detailed or even formal. Um, so for homeowners, it can be just as informal as, hey, I really like the prospect of this, let's go for it. And luckily your state officials will have canned letters ready to go. You just need to say, okay, this is for a uh, low pressure sewer system design and let them know a tiny bit about Marion Township's history with it, and they will be able to put that together for you. Irene, do you have a contact person for Jasmine? No. Okay. I'm sure we can find yeah, one. Yeah, well, the last I, time I went I to the grant writing workshop, it was, uh, he walked in, introduced himself, and walked out. There was no socialization. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm sure I have an email. Yeah. Um, yes. Before. And with your authorization, I'm happy to help tag team that call. I think it's really great for them to know um, myself, the grant writer, also Joe, Hydroterra itself. We can speak with on the project detail side. Well, I think if, 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 if it's we a can. Deep time phone call, if you know ahead of time, I'll, yeah. I'll be happy to be here. Yeah. Or that I mean, if they're, if they're both based out of Harrisburg, or for example, I know one of them has an office over at the airport. Right up the street. Yeah. 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 If, if yeah. there's. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. If, if we have a situation where they're going to physically be there, we could actually just go out and talk yeah. to them, which might be beneficial. It would so. be very beneficial. I need a little bit of a script because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll work on that. So if and we want to contact person for Gebhardt, it's called here. I can't remember his last Yeah. But I think that'll be a great way forward because if we get them now, it's two birds with one stone. We have the statewide grant opening in just another month or so. Yeah. And so it'll be perfect timing, I think, to get everybody behind the township. Good. And so, yeah, I, yeah, I would absolutely appreciate the, the tag team effort on that. I think everybody else on the board would too. Yeah. And the final thing I'll mention is I have a draft resolution that it's another resolution to pass. It's part of the grant application component. Um, so I'm gonna have that in to call in on Monday. Um, and Kozlov Stout is just fantastic. I can't say enough about how helpful their coordination and work with us has been. But yeah, I'm gonna have that to him so we can say, hopefully at that Thursday Board of Supervisors meeting, we officially resolve to apply. Um, in terms of the DCD Commonwealth Financing Authority components. And that should be, you know, the final thing to pass for that before submitting it. Okay, excellent. And so before you sit down, the next, <laughs> the next one's also for you. It's the 2023 LSA statewide program grant. The due date on that one is November 30th. I'd imagine you're still actively working on that. Yes. Um, is there anything similar to the letters that you mentioned that we would need to, to get or, or provide for that? Yes, and um, I'm going to float this idea. We might want our letters of support. I'm not sure which is better. I'm going to talk with our representative for DCED slash CFA is we might want to have the Senator Susfala say, we support this project both for the Berks County Category 4 grant and for the statewide grant. That way we can kind of duplicate the letters if that makes sense because it is yep. the same project. We're going after the design, permitting, um, and engineering kind of costs involved with that. So that would be really great. Thank okay. you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I think the only other thing that I wanted to, to tag on to the, the whole suite of sewer related things is now that we kind of know 
pretty resolutely that we're going to go low pressure, we should look at scheduling uh, a town hall, running out like a church somewhere That's nearby. Or... Yeah. Do we? Well, I think that's all. Um, West would probably. I, yeah. I I skimmed through did. the agenda and I didn't yeah. see it. I think. Yeah, we can put it back off. Oh, no, it's, yeah. it's, it's okay, but I mean, I, I want to make sure that we keep that there because I, I think it is going to be important. A lot of people are going to be riled up about this, mm -hmm. but we have to try to explain very acutely uh, uh, what's going on and try and dispel some of the misconceptions that are out there about like, oh, just pull the plan back. Doesn't really work that way. So um, we need to figure something out in terms of venue. I think you're right. The school is probably the yeah. best way to do that. We got a really good response from the school. Yeah. yeah. And the social, the old social hall, there are no tables or chairs, so we would have to rent. Yeah. yeah. No, it would be better just to do um, it at like the elementary school up the road. I didn't get a response from Christ Church. Um, Reed's Church said they weren't prepared yet to have people yeah. coming in. Mm -hmm. um, he said, contact me in the future, so maybe he's prepared now. I don't yeah, know. I mean, the, the school, from what they said, was a, it's it's going to have everything yeah. we need. Yeah. And yeah. they were very receptive to the yeah. idea. So. And I think Wilmer's Park Elementary was a little cheaper than the yeah. place. Yeah. Okay. And there's bathroom facilities. I was going to say that, yeah. You know. So uh, let's and put our heads together on that Thursday. between now, and yeah. I don't think we'll have an answer for Thursday night, but let's maybe try for something like maybe November. Time. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I can call and get ten days. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Because that we're and we're gonna want to obviously put together a pretty ironclad like presentation about things. We're gonna want to mm -hmm. have Chuck there and Colin there mm -hmm. and Hydra Terra there, so that we can go through and people are obviously again yeah. just to reiterate it. People are gonna yeah. be spicy, but I'm wondering if there's any digital stuff that we could have so that there's the visual. But, oh yeah, oh, most yeah. assuredly, most assuredly. But I mean, one of the other things yeah. we could get graphics around the yeah. the cost of have, like we have to be, we unfortunately on lot systems are at the we have we, I can figure that out. We, yeah. we have, like, do they have? We need we need to know that the equipment is there. Yeah, yeah. do that. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure they have stuff there, and if not, like I said, we can figure it out. We have those projectors that if we dim the lights in the room, we can even if we have to rent. A, a backdrop or a screen or something like yeah, that we can have that yeah yeah um but we can we yeah. can we can navigate that but i'd imagine that they have something mm -hmm. in there because they use that gym as their auditorium too so um yeah we just want to we want to make sure that our, our narrative is very clean very crisp very precise and obviously people are going to be hostile to it they're not going to be receptive to the idea so we kind of have to we have to win hearts and minds on that of we don't like it either, but here's the unfortunate fact of reality. Yep. Here's what we have to do to navigate it. Here's what we're doing to try to make sure that it's not going to be cost prohibitive. And like I said, at the end of the day, if it is a situation where we can't get enough grants, I, I personally am not going to sign off on it. That'll be, we, we have to, at that point, I hate to say this, but start talking about the litigation route. Um, but we have, we still have to do it. We're under, under the requirements of state law to do this. So, okay. okay. Next up is the road occupancy permit ordinance amendment. Uh, Colin suggested we update this ordinance to assist with the broadband infrastructure program to bring high-speed internet to the unserved and underserved communities in PA. Um, I think we're just waiting to, to actually see the final copy of that amendment, right? Because yeah. our, yeah. our road occupancy permit is from 1974. Yeah. yeah. Have we had anyone like complain about broadband access here? No. Thank no. Uh, yeah. Thankfully, most of yeah. our rural good. people are, are probably not on it. On it. Yeah. Um, but it is yeah. it is good that they have the infrastructure there yeah. that if somebody did move in, they could get what they need DSL or yeah. cable or whatever. Um, so once we see that, we'll talk about that. And that. Honestly, that should be pretty open and shut. That's mm -hmm. not a reinvention of the wheel. Um, next is the proposed Airbnb ordinance. Um, we got a call from a resident inquiring about converting a home into an Airbnb. We do not have an ordinance that prohibits anything with Airbnb. So going back a little bit, we had talked about a rental agreement. Mm -hmm. I'm about a third of the way through processing that. And I know we had talked about the Airbnb issue with Andy, a, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember he said, you know, he'd have to get back to it because it's slightly different with how the regulations for an Airbnb versus a rental. 
because when we were talking about the rental agreement, we were talking about um, inspections. So um, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to complete the rental agreements um, with the concepts we have thought about, but Airbnb is just a slightly different category because it could be just for a few days, five days, certain amount of days throughout the year. So, and if it's someone's personal residence and not necessarily for commercial purposes as a, as a rental, uh, year round rental, it, it, it's a little different. And I forgot how Andy put it, but there was some difficulty with Airbnbs and actually there's townships and boroughs and cities that prohibit it. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't necessarily want to go that route, but yeah. just like any other um, rental type of a situation, we have to make sure that the, uh, that the home, both the homeowner as well as the person renting are covered essentially. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I yeah. weighing in my personal yeah. opinion on this, I, I agree. I don't want to completely outright prohibit it. Cause if it's a situation where somebody's like, yeah, we, going to rent it out for a couple of days while we're on vacation or something. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I don't want to see it where we have houses where they are Airbnbs 365 days a year. Well, well then it turns into a straightforward rental. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, right. I'm yeah. getting kind of extreme yeah. on that, yeah. but I'd, I'd prefer we have some sort of limitation on that that discourages structural Airbnb okay. and has it still allowable for, you know, your average right. person, or even if it's a situation where they have an apartment, and if they don't have a um, or a house or something that's normally yeah. rented, that they can still say, okay, we don't have a tenant right now. It's going to go up on Airbnb. Like yeah. that, that sort of use yeah. is more permissible in my yeah. mind. So I, I guess then it, I, I, it's asking Andy or Colin. Yeah. The caveat in there, if it's rented out for X many days throughout the year, then it falls into the rental agreements and automatically that that property owner has to have the inspection meet the requirements. Mm -hmm. If it's less than so many days a week and it's a casual type of a thing, along with more of an Airbnb type of thing, like it's seasonal or something yeah. like that, then, you know, I think that that could be in there, but I can't remember offhand. I remember Andy said something very, something very specific with Airbnbs. Yeah. It's, it's a difficult yeah. thing to approach. Yeah. And the, the other side of it, just to throw that out there is even with the, the inspection ordinance that doesn't really, uh, it's going to be a, possibly poor choice of words, but it doesn't really discourage no, the no. use of Airbnb like no. all year round. It just requires you to make sure that it meets bare minimum safety right, requirements. Right. Which, and I think that's what we're looking for Yeah, because we know that there's a, a, a problem with a certain property within our township that probably <laughs> doesn't meet bare Isn't minimum. That's you. Yeah. Along with that, there are separate ordinances that I came across for hotel mm -hmm. inspections. And that's something, you, again, what I'll do is I'll put together as much as I possibly can and then if we want to have like a separate hotel ordinance, things right. like that. I so, think yeah. spitballing here, um, the Airbnb stuff probably would fit nicely into the rental yeah. inspection yeah. ordinance. We probably would want to have a separate hotel inspection ordinance mm -hmm. and then just have kind of a, a packet of when we do that, we, we do the two ordinances at once. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. We should definitely Does talk to... I, I have looked at one point and I didn't see anything. What you can pull up is, is, is other townships throughout the state do have different kinds of ordinances. There's, there's like, yeah, there's yeah. very few hotel ordinances. Most of them look like they borrow from each other, which is what we're going to do, which we do for any kind of ordinance is, and just kind of tailor it to our needs. And you make sure that the language is specific enough where it, it um, focuses on the issue at hand, but it's not so broad that it, it, it can be struck down by a court or, you know, any other type of issue that you have when it comes to language. So um, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll bring my materials and um, we'll move forward from there. Yeah. Okay. Anything else on that one? No, no. Okay. Next is the robocalling, the emergency alerts. Um, this is, this is my fault. I haven't gotten a chance to dig into the contract. I know I said that last month too, but um, I got to just dig at that and make sure that we're not entering into something that is going to have uh, per use charges. Because I know some of those do. Gotcha. Um, where you have the flat fee and it only covers up to a certain amount. And if you go over that, then it's wildly expensive. Um, also, we didn't get a package or like anything about it. It was just, just a well, quote. Civic Ready had it's like per minute, like twelve thousand per minute for tax, sixty thousand for calls. Yeah. And at year three, there's a five percent annual uplift. Okay. Yeah, because I, I having done one of these services at work for a couple of years, um, 
they can get real costly real fast if you exceed what the contracted amount is. And I don't want to see us do that. It's uh, one of those uh, good intention things that can go very, very, very south very quickly. Um, so I will try to work on that. I'll try to squeeze time in at some point to just do a side by side between the, the couple. And maybe I can do a little bit of Googling to see if there's another service out there. Um, and I, I hope that we have Witch's voice on yeah. those uh, <laughs> robocalls. calls. <laughs> Hey, the road's closed. Don't go this way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's they, flooding. They, no eagle has been. Good. If I say, are you going to robocall? I have to say it. I yeah. know that. And they're, yeah. they're calling. And then they do. They're calling you, right? Not the homeowners? Because I haven't gotten no, no. calls. Yeah. Emails from residents and calls from residents saying, Hey, I just got a text that they're not going to pick up my trash today before we're notified. But that's okay. Yeah. As long as the yeah, as long as people are getting told, that's yeah. that's what counts. But I'm wondering if they have a with them they have a bad phone number. They don't robocall everyone. Yeah. It's it's like pick and choose yeah. who they're going to call. Mm. Yeah. Because sometimes we get a message on our answer machine, and sometimes we don't. Yeah. Like. Well, obviously they have our number because yeah. they're calling us at some point. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it's but I have to say, you are going to robocall, correct? Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he does. It's, if I don't ask, yeah. then I don't. It's not perfect, but it's a step in the right it's, direction. It's better. Yeah. It's better. And I've gotten yeah. gripes about, not to go into the eagle thing again, but I've gotten gripes this week again about why are they picking up on Wednesday and not Tuesday? And my response usually is, at least they're picking up their trash. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, we're having issues. We're, yeah. we're if it's a day late, it's a day late. At least it's being picked yeah, up. Yeah, it's being picked up. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. again not ideal, but it's at least done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. sorry, you might need one. No, thank you. Eagle thing. Thank yep. you. <laughs> and of course, the utility of it, not just for that particular issue. It's it's there's a lot of things that it could be, especially with severe weather issues and mm -hmm. road closures. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I mean, that's to me is um, a big thing. Mm -hmm because of the issues that we had with road closures and people not really adhering to it. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. that and like snow emergency, yeah. being right. able to notify everybody and not just yeah. kind of hope for it. I is... mean, thankfully the people in town are kind of trained to look on WFMZ. Yeah. yeah. But, but still, yeah, it's, it's 69 news. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good to cover but, a couple of different avenues mm -hmm, on that. Exactly. Okay, uh, next up on the agenda is the additional enforcement action against property owner of 1117 William Penn Boulevard. A motion is needed to ratify the zoning and code enforcement officials issuance of zoning and IPMC notice of violation of the owner and occupant of the property. Motion is also needed to authorize the solicitor to institute an injunction against the owner and any occupant of the property if one or both of the notice of violations are not appealed. Um, based on I'll say the public perception of transparency. I would say let's do this Thursday night. Okay. Um, that way we're not accused of, of doing something clandestinely, even though this is a public meeting. Yep. Um, but uh, Jim, you drove by it this morning. Does it look any better? Oh. No. no. Okay. So, I mean, I, no. we don't really have any choice on this. Yeah. yeah just you know, as, promises have been made over and over no, again. So. We tried to work with him. We yeah. even talked to him a couple yeah. of meetings ago about yeah. How he could improve what he's simple, doing. Simple things. One thing is just a tarp. And it's not happening. So yeah. it's time to take it to the next much. level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just as an aside to, to this particular issue, um, uh, I know there's a little bit back and forth with the emails. His goats are wandering off the property. Yes. Yeah. And if so, they're, right. That's totally different than the other thing right. we were saying about with the chickens, the number yeah. of chickens. That's, not, that's its own they're thing. They're not just wandering to the neighbors, they're wandering across, across the road. The street. Yeah. Right. So, uh, grandson almost hit one of the goats yeah. last week. So, so that if that's the case, I've been advising uh, residents to call the police because it falls under the leash law yep. that we have. Because the leash law says animals, it does not say dogs. Yeah. So if he's not controlling his animals and his animals are defecating, including his chickens on other people's properties, they need to call the police. Yep. So let, yesterday I drove out, I'm like, oh, that's a big brown dog. No, it wasn't a big brown dog, it was a big brown goat. But it was on his property. As long as it within the confines of his property, there's nothing we could do. But once it, it goes across the street, and I even said, I had to call this week from the yeah. neighbor across the street. And yeah. Her concern was these goats are going to be hit because cars yes. fly both ways. Mm -hmm. on yes. This. And I mean, I was on the phone with her, and she's like, 
they're on my yard again. I got to go shush them over because right. they're afraid they're well, going to get it. Just, yeah, call the police. Call the police. Yeah. Take a picture. Please call the police. Take yeah. pictures. Call the police. Yeah. Really, really hate to tie up to like that. Mm -hmm. But, but it's, that's what we need it's to gotta do. get it's gotta get done. Right. So there's the record of the 911 call. There's a photo, if even though it couldn't be authenticated, whatever submitted for um, evidence, but it's still it's like this is the time, this is the date. You know, if there's more than one witness, that's even better. Um, and and you just we, we go through that process. And and if we have to hit them up with violation of the leash law, we're gonna hit them up with a violation of the leash law. Yeah, there's an old goat there that's a real problem. Yeah. What, what was that again? Goats too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go 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 yeah. They're cute, but yeah. you know, I don't want to see them across the Yeah, street. you don't want to see them no. get on the road. I yeah. mean there's there's the safety aspect of that, there's the just general cleanliness, hygiene aspect yeah. of that. And like I said, it's it's very different than the original thing, which was the, the more so the quantity of chickens, yeah. which we're not we're not touching because we're actively changing that with joint zoning, but the the other issue is if they're if they're free roaming and yeah. they're they're wandering around like that and getting into the road and other people's properties, that's a that's a completely right. different issue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, um, I don't think we have anything for the emergency management coordinator's Can you report. Mm -hmm. D okay. Number eleven. Okay. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah, yeah I did. That's good. Um, the Stonecroft deed for open space lot 215. Um, this was the open space that was in, incorrectly deeded to the HOA instead of the township. Um, I think we're still waiting to hear back from uh, uh, Stone Group about that. Um, we'll check with Colin on Thursday night, but this is just a, they have to issue a corrective deed to, to issue that, that right away portion to us. So uh, again, as I mentioned, thank you for Reminded me about 11. Uh, nothing for emergency management coordinator's report, okay. unless you have something. Uh, John apologizes. He's actually in a class today for emergency management. So he needs to take whatever courses he needs to make sure he's 100% covered to require, et cetera. So he's in a class today. Okay. Also, just kind of on the emergency management vein of things, I had a thought the other day and that jogged my memory with the drone because people were complaining about mm -hmm. the drone. Yeah, it's um, I know it's not, yeah, I know yeah, it's not, but yeah. one of the things that we can do just to make this easier is just periodically if John comes up and loads the flight logs onto the server, then we have them okay. at a moment's notice. That'd be a very easy thing that yeah. we can do. And if somebody complains, we can just pull them up and go. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's spoken to Officer Ludwig a couple of times yeah. and um, it's not him. It's not even the times that he's been flying. So yeah. it's kind of interesting. Yeah, there's so, there's other people flying yeah, drones around. Yeah, I've I've seen yeah, them. There was yeah. um geez, it was probably probably about a year ago actually. There was some weird like weather balloon thing that got stuck in a tree. Mm -hmm. Um I remember yeah. I sent you guys the text yeah. message of that weird yeah. like white thing that I'm like, is this? Yeah. So there's there's other <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. There's other people um recreationally flying yeah. small aircraft like that. Yeah, we have so, one yeah. in my yard. Yeah. Yeah. So we put a little flag on there. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's like a it's like one of those like the sky flyer things at the beach. Yeah. It, it, it says we just gotta like yeah. paint it neon green or something. Yeah. But that's good. You know, that's a good idea. You can put a band on the garbage won't be picked up. Yeah. <laughs> just fly that around the township. Yeah. Um, That'll work. <laughs> okay. Uh, next is the Creekview Dairy Operations. This is 952 Route 419. Engineer Hess has received the as-built plans and issued a new review letter. BCC did an inspection on August 22nd. Uh, we're just waiting that report. So hopefully we'll have some, some details on that. Coming to an end. Right? Yes. Yeah, it'll be nice to get that one off the agenda. Uh, next is the Colberts and related site improvements. Uh, so keep me honest, Marion Drive and Sheridan Drive are both done. No, Marion Drive North and Reichert. Reichert, done. thank you. So Marion Drive North and Reichert are done. Marion Open, Drive South and Sheridan. Done, like seated, done. Yeah. Um, the other painting has to happen on Reichert. The road was too dirty, so the line painter didn't want to do it. Okay. When they do Sheridan, they'll go over to Reichert and paint Reichert. Sheridan is demolished. They poured the footers yesterday because I passed the cement truck. They're going to set the culvert on Tuesday. That didn't change, did it? No. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. So that one's pretty close to pretty being done. Close. All they have to do after that is fill it in and 
I don't know when the guide rail is scheduled to go in there, but um, yeah, it's still we're soon. we're on track to, yeah. to to meet the schedule that CMS put yeah. out, which was everything done by like the end of October. Mm -hmm. so. Marion Drive South has an issue with the poles. Yes. Um, yeah. So MedEd has to get involved in that. Don't know when that's going to happen. Yeah, that might cause a little bit of a delay, but yeah. we'll figure something out. But at least that road is open now yeah. and travelable. No, we 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 had a meeting with MedEd this week okay. on on Marion South, and uh, I called before I came in this morning. I called Chuck, the engineer, and they didn't they didn't get no response from MedEd yet. No, MedEd goes slow, especially when it's a situation where MedEd may have to spend money. Yeah. But so uh, that's all. That's all I can say about Iron Saw. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. But it's progressing nicely. Yeah. We'll have to to sit down maybe Thursday night or at some point. You and I can connect of where we need to move funds from where out oh. of which account to which. Okay. Okay. Um, well, yeah, that was my uh, question. So um, I think we have sufficient funds to pay the bill. According yeah. to old estimates, um, I, I guess I have a question there with, with something. H having never been experienced a big project like this before within our township, did did previous engineers set, send such nice detailed updates and stuff? No, that was just beautiful. Yeah. that was a very nice no, I'm, I'm, email with pictures and details on everything. I was like, one, two, three, four. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm following this beautifully. That was that was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I, I really do yeah. appreciate Chuck's oh, gosh, Chuck's yeah. communication style is yeah, very very good. Wonderful. So yeah, I mean, um, if anything, we may have to move a, a little sum of money from savings into checking account. But right now we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. I just paid a monarch bill. I need you to sign the checks. Okay. Um, so so things just trickle in. So I, I guess um, I, I, guess, I guess we need to make motions to do that. Yeah, to, to move money. Funds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just... Should put it on Thursday. Yes, 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 okay. yes please. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know we're okay for yeah. right now um, as far as funding there for our routine bills because we have money coming in, money going out. So for right now we're okay. Yeah. So yeah. when we when we first started talking about this, yeah. even with the the price increase, I had looked at that and made sure that we had the right amount of money in the right places. Yes. Like yes. we obviously don't want to spend more money than we have. No. And we're, we're not anywhere near having that concern. Um, we just may have to shift some of the money that we had put in like the savings of the money market a while ago, since it's yeah. higher interest bearing back over to the checking for the yeah. purposes of just yeah. and having it there. The ARPA funds are in the savings account. And yep. so they've been designated as um, Colbert. Colbert. And so I'm not looking to do that report with you. Oh, that, no, that'll be easy. We spend it all at once. It's one. Yeah, but the uh, whatever it is on that. I don't know yeah, I'll that. I'll I'll help you with that. But There's we by spending it on only one thing, we simplified yeah. that filing yeah. substantially. Yeah. So, okay. So yeah, good news on the the culvert yeah. all around. Um, kind of as a dovetail on that, the next is the temporary construction easement and permanent drain easement for the culvert replacements. Chuck is still working on that. Um, I haven't heard anything either, so we'll see if he has an update Thursday night. Um, do, 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 the Riker Colbert had an application for payment and a change order. So Chuck was going to get that to us, but I don't think he got it yet. Okay. okay. So I, I'm anticipating he'll have it before Thursday, so that's why I put it on today. But, okay. Um, okay. Once that comes and you need a motion to, to accept it. approve the payment and approve the change order. Okay. Um, but he said it should probably be like Conclusive in one. Um, I guess you can do it that way. I don't know. Well, don't know. my my understanding is you have the the bill, you have the final bill that references the change order because you have to. Usually, the way this works is you well, have to approve the change order separately. The change orders first. And yeah, then they apply the that, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, yeah, usually, like your your final bill has a, a line in there for the change order cost, and so you have to. Yeah. Okay, next is the Bollinger Road uh, fill overflow matter. I'm going to combine this one with the next one, which is the agreement. Um, there was, as we had talked about in prior months, a situation where we had, uh, with Tulpehawken Township, added some fill along a steep embankment to try to mitigate a, a rollover concern. And some of the fill spilled down into the lower part of the property. Um, since then, Tulpehawken and Marion have worked diligently to clean that up. Uh, they've done a fantastic job. It looks great. Um, however, there is still kind of an, an ongoing, uh, I'll say, difference of opinion between 
the, the two municipalities and the, the one property owner out of the two. So we're still waiting for the property owners to sign the agreement. Um, Colin and Chuck, we're going to be following up with them around that. And there may be some additional things that have to happen along with that. But we need to make sure that we have that agreement in place for the purposes of the, the retroactive permit with uh, like DEP and uh, there was like one or two other regulatory agencies. But um, it's tremendously simpler if we file it as the township rather than filing it as, uh, as the homeowner. So yeah. that's why we want to we want to have that agreement in place. And the agreement also offers some protection to the homeowner if there is any problems in the future, that it would be the, the township that would be responsible for correcting any anything that needed to be. Just as an aside to that, when Chuck was out on the site, he did recommend that we revisit just the, the safety issue along the road. And at mm -hmm. some point, we should consider guide, guide rail. rail. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's something that we'll have to um, address within the next year or so. But let's let's. Yeah add that to the, the I was, budget. I was, well, so my, I'm thinking out loud. Mm -hmm. Since we're getting guide rail for the culverts, can we ask them to look at that? Because apparently guide railing- Guide is railing is like, very, very specific. Right? But, well, and like, like when we wanted to do the guide rail on Hickory Road mm -hmm. before yeah. with that grant project, yeah. like it was such a short span that nobody wanted to, to touch do it. it. Yeah, so that's actually not a bad idea. Let's but, talk to but do we have money to do it? Liquid yeah. fuel, we could, we we could use liquid fuel. Hollander, could we do liquid fuels? Yes, and we'd have to get free yeah, fuel from Charlie, right. but yeah, yeah. That, that is liquid fuels eligible. So we yeah. can we can talk to them and see if they'd be willing to do that section and the section over on Hickory all at once because it's two smaller bits that might make it worthwhile to for them yeah, to do. Yeah. Do all. So um, I don't know who that person is. Uh, yes, we, I mean, we Chuck. can call we can call Chuck or we can call we can the guy at CMS. Yeah, okay. yeah, but that's that, let's let's kind of make a that? Yes. yeah guide rail on yeah guide rail on Bollinger and guide rail on Hickory. Okay. Hickory. There was supposed there to was be supposed garden. to be, but it got omitted because that's we couldn't cemetery. We where that ditch is pretty deep. We couldn't get a firm to, to do it. Like nobody wanted to touch it because it's such a small section. Yeah, no, no, but you're, you're right. Bro. So our, our solution was we put the little markers up, like as a like caution, there's a ditch here, but ideally it really should have a guardrail. Yeah, no, 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 no just, just saying, Butch. Um, okay, next thing is the stormwater pipe along Marion Drive. Uh, Chuck is contacting property owners and the PennDOT rep, Charlie to uh, determine eligibility for liquid fuels and to get the necessary easements and agreements in place for that. Um, that is a substantially smaller project than the culverts. I believe that came in at around like 20 something thousand. Um, so that'll be, a, a, I'll say a good simple one that we can get done and again, use liquid fuels for. Yep. Uh, next is line painting. This would be for zones five and six, which encompasses excuse me, seven miles total that need to be repainted. We did receive a quote from Burke's Traffic and Line Painting for a sum of $18,724.98. Um, I've not gotten any calls back from anybody else. Um, we need to have two other quotes yeah. in order for that to be up to, up to, to par for what is required. Um, I'll try making some calls again this week. If anybody, Sue, Melissa, Jim, Irene, if you can make some calls too, and see if there's other places that are willing to give us a, a quote for the same thing. I mean, we can call a one, even oh, though we're oh, not. Yeah. No, for this. But quote. just to get a quote, yeah, yeah. Quote. yeah. We can call them for a quote, even though we're not using them yeah. through the Brooks County yeah. Cooperative Purchasing. Yeah, game. my my we fear. That's that's another quote. My fear though is that they're they'd come in lower, and then we'd be kind of oh. obligated. <laughs> kind oh, of obligated so to you're use not leading it out, so you're not yeah. required yeah. to yeah. use the lowest. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, Five and six. Here's five, five and six. Five and six. Let me see if I have the map on this computer. Here, I have a map right here. Do you have it on there? Uh, no, my computer's misbehaving. So it would be at the western end. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I think that's just me just right. point a finger. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, that's okay. So yeah, five yeah. and six are yeah. like over here. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, my only concern is these crosswalks here. 
Well, we can, we can add yeah, that it's, it's so not identifiable as a crosswalk. Me yeah. coming up on on traffic, and like as I drove through other towns, I'm like, yeah, they just have the the two line strips, but having those horizontal lines on them makes it that much more identifiable. We can just get yeah or rent right. a line striper and just go out and do that. That's yeah. we're talking very very yeah. little amount of pain. And we still need signage in either direction saying crosswalk ahead slow down. Okay. Because again, you come up and there's the bollards in the street, and I like them. I'm happy they're there, but there's nothing to tell you in your head. We all live here. We know what's in the streets and what's on the roads. If people come through town. It's have another sign, crosswalk ahead, yeah. slow down. So I'm I'm a big yeah. fan of signage. So yeah. Sue, can you add to Thursday night's agenda uh, signage for crosswalk ahead and maybe like children at play? Because we we can put that at the intersection of Water Street because of the park. Yeah. So what's with the, the line painting thing? You where can you rent this thing? I mean, I think you can just get one of those at like Eagle Rental. Really? Yeah. Have to... I mean, you can you can just if we wanted to, you could buy one at like Lowe's. It's like probably Fisher. Right? Yeah, as I say, there's that that's. And what um, painting is? You you get the um, uh, high wear like fluorescent white, whatever it is. Like you can you can buy that off the shelf. Yeah. Can we hire hire a street artists? It's a bit funky. Oh, we can, oh, we maybe can call. They rent it. Yeah, maybe we can rent it from them. Maybe. Can you give them a call? Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So I mean, we, would, we could rent it from them, get out there and get it done. It and yeah. just get it done. Yeah. I mean, that's in the grand scheme of things, that's super easy. And it's also something that doesn't need any sort of like motion or, I mean, we probably should motion it, but uh, it doesn't need an ordinance, but we're not placing signage. We're, we're just marking in accordance with PennDOT standards. It's just a different version of the crosswalk. Yeah. So. Okay, next is the building related stuff. The proposed new building, possible demolition of this one. Uh, there was a meeting on August 10th with the Olson group. Unfortunately, I was not able to be here. So I, Irene, yeah. I know you were, you were present. Yeah, we had a very nice meeting. Sue, Melissa, myself, which John actually came to express his concerns too. Chuck was here. And Chuck was here. So uh, Lee Olson, very nice gentleman. Mm -hmm. um, they recently uh, put through design for Adamstown, New Borough Hall, and uh, very, very nice gentleman. Took detailed notes over all of our concerns and is willing to work with us and help come up with what would be good for Marion Township, um, and he just we took um, him on a tour. <laughs> yeah, he, we we took him on a tour. We asked him if his tetanus shot was up to date. Um, he was actually really fascinated with our history room and alumni room, and he's like, uh, "You need to get all these documents and papers under glass because otherwise they're going to fade and stuff." And yeah, he, he we said this is what we want to create in a new building along with all the other. Um, aspects uh, of, of our wishes. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he made actually made some nice suggestions about that. We need to inventory what's up there so things don't get lost, misplaced, etc. Um, then we, you know, we toss around a whole bunch of ideas. Like, could we have some local colleges or even high school? You know, people that are interested in history, archival studies, etc. Um, but it, uh, I didn't. Did he send in a proposal? Yeah, yeah okay. we got I email it to you guys. Yeah. And it's on the. Forgive me, I, I, I do. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to listen? So I'll, let me pull it up here. I think that uh, I did talk to him yesterday, and his first the first thing he said was, "You have a grand old lady there. She's very yeah, yeah." And it it, it it's said that the building wasn't maintained, but I think even if the building if this building was in pristine shape, it still doesn't serve the it's function. Still, um, yeah, it, 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 it's a school. It doesn't serve the function that we need. It wouldn't even serve as a function for a school anymore. But um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the, the long story short of it is the proposal that they got would be concept design, site plan, floor plan, exterior 2D elevations, 3D rendering of the building. Um, they would do interviews with us, um, set up a, a review, essentially a review board with people from the community to, to weigh in their concerns, things that they'd wanna see. Um, and take that and then produce a plan. Um, the cost for that as listed in the schedule was uh, $9,750. Okay. Um, and that may be something that we can, we can look at getting 
a grant yes. for? Yes. So he, him and Chuck also mentioned that uh, our Berks County was Planning Commission does have someone that does grant writing at no cost to us. So I think it was Ashley Showers, I believe the name was. Mm -hmm. And from a grant uh, program that I attended, BCCD, no, DCED, so DC, too many letters here. DCED does also have planning grants. Mm -hmm. So that would be something else we're eligible. So I would assume that the county would say, okay, yes, we're familiar with DCED grants, and that would be the opportunity to apply for those. Yeah. So I, I think this is the necessary next step. Yeah. So very, very, very nice job. I could view that as if you see all the writing here, just pages and pages of information, which is fantastic. And I think we do add him some different concepts that he, he may not have designed for before, you know. So, again, I, I'm assuming everyone's paying attention to the news and the weather issues. And we talked about evacuation center. We talked about heating and cooling center. Um, you know, John had his concerns as an uh, emergency operations center. He's like, what's that? You know, and, and just went on and on and on. And he was going to reach out to him, you know, John and I have been one of those concepts. There was a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Again, we can motion on it now or we can motion on it Thursday, but I think it's kind of a we we can do it Thursday. Okay. Yeah. I think it is the logical next step though. Like I said before, we have to do something and this is something that we can we have it in the budget, we can put it we in the building to. maintenance and then we can try and get a grant yeah. back the yeah. money later. I mean my concern so. is that wall. If that, uh, wall yeah, goes, that wall goes, well. we can't we can't be in the building. They're going to say no. We we will not insure you. You need to get out. So Melissa, can I ask you sometime this week? Are you able to pull down to the county, find out who that contact person is, and what the next step is that we have to take with to work with them? Because now we have a proposal, mm -hmm. so we have something, and uh, see what more information we need to start working on possibly grants. Oh, you talk to me, and I'll you know add that. So and I think we have been. Oh, yeah. do we? Yeah. Oh, that's even more. Because she sends other yeah. planning stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's wonderful. So I, I hate to say, sometimes I feel like we're an island. The county's like this non existent thing. And, and so I, I feel so much like we're always been like that. We've yeah. always been like out in step, left field and, and nobody child. knows. About yeah. Us. Mm. yeah. But yeah. So, so, you know, let's start tapping into the big mama resource if mm -hmm. we can and mm -hmm. go from there. Do you know any grants that are available for buildings? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there are all the ways. I mean, as far as I'm there, there's just a qualified. No. There's no history. Right. Not having those qualifications. Yeah. 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 And because we had talked to him about it serving as an evacuation center, an emergency operations center, all that stuff, it's like he like lit up. He's like, okay. And because John been talking to people in the adjacent county, we would have to serve that immediate area too, which is good. Which is good. It may enable us to get even more grants and more funding. We even threw in the concept of, do we want to be an EV charging station here? There's grants out there. Yeah, there's grants you know, we talk about solar power, we talk about backup generators, we talk about, we have to be very, very forward thinking in a building design. How is this going to be weather hardened? You know, how is this going to survive the next hundred years? Like, because this, this just doesn't happen. You know, we need to make sure that the next building is going to see the facilities and the maximum. Plus, have a better access for the community. And, and that was another focus to We want this to be a community center. On that note, um, when we took a look at our map, we So, again, larger concept. What are we doing to ensure the survival of marriage? We have a 1970s budget for the 21st century pop. And He's like, you know, you may want to consider changing that act preserved designation goes because it's affecting off your town. What is what is and again this is he talked about quite a bit of what is the forward vision for the area? No. Okay, but most yeah. of most of yeah, the yeah. properties that have the little black dots on them yeah. are in ag security. Ag security, yeah. excuse me, ag security. And you can't change that. Yeah. Yeah. 
and, so, and, and so like what what was what is the forward thinking what is like how do you want to kind not necessarily grow in, incrementally in um population mm -hmm. but but what's the designation of mary intention what 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 makes someone want to come and live here? We have high school taxes. We have low property taxes. So why why would you stay here? You know what's going to happen in a decade, two decades from now? Is is town going to be empty because no one can afford to live here anymore? What's the attraction? What's the draw? And, and how do we move forward on that? How do we have tax bases to pay for the roads and everything that we need? And so it was a very interesting conversation that we had with them. Um, and again, like I do listen to other programs and, and, and listen to how other cities are trying to create a Do we want to build this as a sleepy little town? If we want to build it as a sleepy little town, that's great. But can we make it look nice? Yeah. You know? and, and so that's part of the problem with Mary Township. We have no money to do anything and we have big problems. Yeah. I, yeah. That's a whole discussion yeah. into itself. But right. I'd, I'd like to see us preserve as much of the agricultural yeah. as, as physically yeah. possible. Um, I've said this before that I would love to see Main Street evolve into something a little more Lidditz esque. Have some shops, have some nice houses on there. We have plenty of nice houses. Some of them just need a little love. Um, but grow that, grow the 422 corridor that is now zoned yeah. highway commercial for a lot of it, that you could have additional businesses come in um, and just kind of take yeah. take what we have and build that up a little more rather than taking huge swaths of stuff and putting in more housing developments. Oh, no, 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 I, I agree with that 100%. Maybe talking to someone from county. Can you help us with a forward vision? You know, with planning commission. Can you help us with how can we have the five, 10 year, 20, 30 year plan for Marion Township? Mm -hmm. How can we gain more spaces to pay for the problems that we have at the same time, maintaining that kind of quaint agricultural kind of a thing, but how can you help us with so because we're failing we're, we, we failed and we're plugging holes right now and that's the hard part I mean mm -hmm. that's what I say if we're going to look like that for the world, we're not only going to need so much right, right, so, we're going to need water yeah well from a from a zoning standpoint if you're going by Lidditz the sewer thing is the, really the, the size limiting thing you can yeah. still have well water and have the, the smaller property sizes um, that's less of a limiting factor. The real, I think the real concern would be if you have a higher population density, like if some of the stuff on Main Street becomes apartments, then you start having the concern about needing fire. It's, it's, it's the thing like more than the total water. Right. But, but the, the population density also is a school concern. Right, because that's school we at that, Well, no, it's not even just that. The school capacity, which was very interesting, which is something I never, ever considered. So it, it again, it's being this, this larger global concept over um, how do we have growth within Marion Township to support the needs of the residents, but without destroying the integrity of what we currently have. How do we make things look nicer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that's that's yeah. difficult because that's a that's a, a costing sort it of is. thing because it's a. It is it's a cost proposition for people that own the properties. Right. But we have to stop looking at the way we've always looked at it. We have to start looking at the fresh set of eyes and saying, what are the things that we need to do to um, keep, maintain what we have? Because the money's going to run out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the bottom line. The money will run out. We're going to eat through our general funds up until the next tax year, the, you know, the tax taxes come in and uh, liquid fuels is nothing. Yeah. We we have uh, if it wasn't for COVID and all the stuff you know not happening, we wouldn't have the big bulky accounts that we have now. We have we we have money for line painting. We have money for I would say on average like uh, to do the Marion uh, Drive issue, but the storm water pipe. But there's yeah. nothing. Fifty two thousand well, is nothing. Year in now, if you get yeah. fifty two thousand, if you look okay. at the that, that's one. Small to medium sized projects. Right. Like that's, we don't have enough organic finance, any of this, uh, which is where we've got to chase grants where possible. But as we said, it's, it's other public grants. And we've got a surplus of, I don't, other than that little right. bit of school road that got right. done, like hickory and things like that. Um, I acknowledge this as much as everybody else. You could literally pick any road in the township and it needs something. It needs yeah. some amount of work, some things more than others. Most things 
more than others. But it's a challenge everybody faces. And unfortunately, some of it's going to be Grin and Barrett. We're only able to do so much at, at one time. And then the other side of it is we have to prioritize, pick the things that are the highest need. Case in point, it's the reason we did the culverts. We had things that were actually genuinely failing. They were to the point where it was not safe for cars to go across them. And, and that's we why we start cataloging yeah. all the culverts and, and designate times over Okay, this is the next set of culverts. This is the yeah. next one. This is the and, next one. And this yeah. is this is an easier said yeah. than done thing. But in, in a perfect world, if we had more of a cash flow, this would be the kind of thing that we know the useful life of the culverts thirty years. Mm -hmm. Cost of replacement thirty years projected is going to be X number of dollars. We break that into thirties, and then we start putting that swirling that money away. But we, we honestly we don't have the money no. to scroll away. Like you can you can you can think that all you want, but it's just not there. No, it's not. It's not. And, and again, like that's to me is, is part of the problem. What can we do to attract businesses along 422? What can we do to get businesses to come in and help us out? Yeah. yeah. And that's, I mean, it would be great if we had some things that were higher draws. Going back to the, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, going back to the Airbnb thing that we had said, like, if people wanted to do an Airbnb, there's really like, what's in the area that you would come and see with an Airbnb? <laughs> Nothing. You stay here and you drive somewhere else, whether yep. it's Lancaster or Lebanon or yep. um, like unless you're planning on, uh, yep. you know, going and, and seeing like uh, Twilight Creamery or something right. like that, right. which may be one stop. There's right. nothing that keeps tourist right. money in the community. Could we have nice sidewalks and nice walking paths in this community? Yeah. Could we do that? Could we do lower budget things? Mm -hmm. If this building and, and this is something that he said, you know, you start with the building. If this building in the park were really nice, yeah. and now we're going to... And, and that's something that we yeah. said, if you make this nice, maybe that'll encourage yeah. people in the town to... Yeah. Spruce their yeah. And right. Speaking of that, this was something that I was going to bring up in comments, but it's a good time to insert this. Jim, you had said about the ball field fence, right? I had a thought the other day. What if we approach other businesses like Dutch Way, True Value, Boyers, whatever to sponsor it. Whoever sponsors it the most gets essentially naming rights that we could put up a big sign that it's like the Dutch Valley food soft, softball. Yeah. Um, and we could have them put signage up on the fence. So it's like a, like an actual, like major league sort of look to things. And we'd get the fence. We'd have hopefully some, some uh, upkeep on the, the field as a result. And we can, like you said, if you build it, they will come. We um, did ask Lee to include the playground park, whatever you want yeah. to call yeah. it, whatever you yeah. want yeah. name it, in the concept plan. Yeah. Just yeah. maybe he has ideas on how to rearrange that. Yeah, because yeah. we have a very nice thing over there. It needs, yeah. Again, it needs a little bit of love. Right. But it's actually several people at, say to me, why don't you convert that tennis court into a pickleball court? I had somebody from Stonecroft say, you know what? I know of five people who would be out there playing pickleball today. To go to the I mean, pickleball. yeah, it's a good point. What do we? Yeah. What, what would we need to do that? Yeah. I don't. I don't even I know the first thing about pickleball. There are a lot of grants for what you're suggesting, but we would need to match the funds. Yeah. If we could get someone like yeah. Dutch Valley to make a local match yeah. fund for us, we can so get the other half of money. If I can ask a favor of you, find some of the grants that we would be eligible for and give me some of the specifics. I will call. I might need to get the contact information from the guy at Dutch Way. Dutch Valley. Uh, Dutch Valley. I'm sorry, not Dutch, but Dutch Way. Um, to, call, yeah, call Dutch Way too. Yeah, um, but either way, call them because they're they're very motivated in the community. We did that uh, that uh, tax yes, yep. thing for them yep. recently. That yep. it might be the, the perfect opportunity yep. as a partnership to say, hey, we're looking at doing this. We would really, really love if you kind of went with us on this. And like I said, we'll get a big sign that's like the, you know, Dutch Valley Foods uh, baseball diamond, you know, Marion Township like that. And you, it's it's advertising. It's community reinvestment, which I'm sure CRA stuff is part of their their portfolio that they have to do annually. So it, it's, it, to me, it seems like it's a win-win across the board. And yeah, if we can get other great idea, other people yeah. to get in on that, and then we could, I mean, even go one step further that we say, hey, we're, we're looking to do the fence, but anything else that we can do, even if it's like fresh coat of paint on the things or additional bleachers or, you know, solar lights yeah. or, you know, 
if, if they want to get involved in this, I'm, I'm all for them saying like, Hey, yeah, we're going to, we're going to do the thing with the fence. But we're also going to donate some, some lights or right. we're going to do this or that or the other thing. Well, Star Fiber does a banner program and every month there's a new sponsor, $250. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 Butch. Uh, I think uh, you ought to make the ball field like Wummelstorf uh, has it down there. Well, Turkey Hill there. Yeah. Uh, just uh, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have as much work if you just have the baselines mm -hmm. uh, uh, for your time attack. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, baselines, you know, and... like uh, like uh, the person that mows the the the, the playground here yeah. can mow can mow the rest. Uh, we wouldn't, you know, we did a lot of work to get it two years ago. Yeah. To, yeah. To get it in the shape it was and now but, it's all green again. Yeah. 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 So I, I think you're right. I like the idea of that, that we have the base lines and the pitcher mound. It's yeah. Cut down on the amount of the, the honestly kind of expensive dirt that we have to get for that. It would be a lot easier to maintain. So yeah, I uh, like uh, like the yeah, like the person it. that mows the playground can mow the the outer field, the inner field, whatever then. Yeah. And and you'd have nice grass. Yeah. And then the other the other side of that is we we could actually just put a riding mower. We, we could make a small drag. We wouldn't have to use the big tractor or anything like that. Again. Yeah, exactly. A riding mower. <laughs> yeah, and and then I see again going back to the Olson. We said, can you please help us with the park? We need more ADA access. Draft us a new concept to make sure make sure that we have proper drainage. All that's all the did things we, that are little concerns to to maintenance that we have right now. Did we share the plan that McCarthy Engineering gave the MTCA? Because if we didn't, that's something that he gave to okay. them. Yeah, I think okay. we all yeah. talked about it briefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I don't it. Oh, the community association. Yeah. 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 I I would almost say labor under the premise that it's going to be right here. Like yeah. we're we're, yeah. we're not yeah. going to exceed no. the original footprint. Right. No. But we had talked about it was giving us a concept with the garage on this side mm -hmm. and the garage on that side as well. Yeah. And so again, that will occupy some space, but. So much of it can be better utilized. Yeah. And so I know yeah. maybe there's a, a dissent of opinions here, but I'd, I'd still much rather us keep the garage over here, even if we have sort of like a canyon of things that we have the building on one side and like the salt sheds and the garage and stuff on the other. I'd much rather keep this over here and keep the park for that, that area over there yeah, purely for purposes. recreational purposes. Yeah. I mean, he's given us ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What possibly the lot designs? They're not going to sell it. Or they don't want to sell. They don't sell it. Well, so I mean, there's literally, other ways, there's other ways for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm, go that route. yeah I, I'm. We have an. It would be better if we had that. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. we have we have enough here that we can we can work with it. And then if at some point in the future we have the opportunity to buy it, if they put it up on the market, then we just jump on it. I'm not. I don't get the warm and fuzzies about leveraging eminent domain sure unless we have to. Area here well, yeah, we can. Mr. Olson felt it was possible. Yeah. 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 He, yeah. he did think yeah. it was yeah. possible. And, and yeah. like I said, it, it is here. even if we just had a long, like a, a long, thinner building rather than mm -hmm. something that's more square or more rectangular, we have enough space that goes back that direction that you could have like the salt sheds and the garages in like an L shape on the rear part of the property. There's, there's ways to fit the pieces into the puzzle. Yeah. It would be a lot easier with more space, but it's still totally doable right. as is. But on the garage, he needs at least three double bays, yes. not four double yes. bays. Yep. And that's that's a problem. And you want to have access, you want to be able to come around, not just exit this way. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, I, ideally. Yeah. 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 Um, we still need to look like, let's so, say. And we yeah. all have homework for, homework to do before we get to, if you hire him, yeah. to get together with him <laughs> next time. Yeah. He gave us homework. Okay. Yeah, um, and 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 still keep an eye out if a property comes up that has about ten acres, 
and it's a feasible thing, I'd yeah. still consider it. But yeah, at the same time, you know, if this is this is such a sore spot, it would need to be sold or demolished. Yeah, so, I mean, re realistically, we would have yeah. to look at selling or demolishing yeah. anyway, because yeah. we don't want to have the two buildings. No. Otherwise, we're, we're paying to yeah. keep this building even after we move, and we don't want that. That's yeah. the, the exact opposite of what we're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We, we didn't tell them about the tanks, the underground tanks, did we? No, they're like, they're like they're Oops, a surprise. Oops. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's dealt with that before. I'm, I'm sure, sure it's early enough in the process, too, yeah. that he could snap that in. Um, okay, next right. item, unless we have anything else that we want to touch on on that, is the Comcast franchise renewal. Um, we're still waiting on the draft agreement from Phil Fraga. I assume we haven't heard anything from them. He was on vacation for two weeks. So. Okay. Um, just as an aside, the the amounts that we've received from the Comcast agreement, the franchise agreement for this year alone, has exceeded what we we've what budgeted we, for. The, the in, no, no, but mm -hmm. the entire amount that we would have to pay to fill. Yeah. So, um, you know, we we've made above and beyond. Obviously, we received like close to fourteen thousand dollars from the Comcast agreement. Fills uh. Uh, bill was like eight nine nine five, I think, and we're paying it incrementally over the over the several years. I remember to sign the checks. Yeah, like I said, it it, it as a lump, it was a decent yeah. amount, but yeah. it's I know it's it, charging it to us all well, the time. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it yeah. it, it makes sense to yeah. negotiate, spend the money, yeah. and then have the higher amount coming in every single year yeah. for the, the Comcast. Group. My my gut feeling is Comcast relies on townships and cities, etc not hiring someone yeah. and not paying out what is due so yep okay next is the western burks joint zoning ordinance this is section 403 the amendment around the keeping of pets and small domesticated farm animals um there's tentatively a meeting scheduled for september as the other municipalities were interested in participating and we're going to do some review and suggestion about how to have one joint wide ordinance rather than having a piecemeal. So we can wait to hear about the date for September and then Jim and I will, will be there to review and discuss with the group. Uh, next is the PSATS Unemployment Compensation Group Trusts. This is the 2023 ballot for the election of trustees. There are only two candidates. We have to pick two. Uh, it's Jenna Hines and Marvin. I'll make a motion to uh, the ballot of the Next is the PSAT Municipal Pension Trust. This is also for the election of that trustees. There's two candidates again, and we have to pick two. So I'll make a motion to submit the Municipal Pension Trust 2023 ballot. For Jack Hines and Marvin Matier. Second. Roll call, Peter. Bye. I'm reading. Bye. Next is the PSAS Health Insurance Cooperative Trust. The ballot, and there are only two candidates, so I'll make a motion to submit the PSAS Health Insurance Cooperative Trust ballot with uh, Jack Hines and Marvin Matier. Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Next is the Berks County Public Works Association and trade show. This is being held on October 5th at the Ozzy Fairgrounds from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Michael Black, the Recon uh, Construction Services, will be giving a presentation on recycling roads, which may be interesting, which I would, if you have availability, I would recommend you at least go to that. Um, there's going to be equipment to rodeos and uh, some other activities. Registration is required before September 25th. Um, I'll make a motion to allow any uh, supervisor, office staff, uh, or road crew to attend if interested. Second. I'll give it to Jim. Jim, second roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Jim. Hi. Which just let me know you're in Donnie when you go and ask Lean if he wants to do the rodeo thing. Okay, because I need to know. And I need to know what size t shirts you want. Everybody gets a t shirt. Everybody gets a t shirt. Yep. 
Uh, next is the Berks County Association of Township Officials Convention. Uh, this is October 19th from 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. at the Old Lake Fair Center. Reservations must be made by October 1st. There is no charge. Um, so this is for Township Supervisors, Elected Auditors, Tax Collector, and August. To their charges. I got a concern for this, but I'll make a motion to authorize um, any elected officials, office staff, and what was the other one? Uh, tax, tax collector. collector. Thank you. Uh, to attend if interested. Second. Roll call. Aye. Irene. Aye. Jim. Aye. Harold, are you going to this? All right, I'll put you down. Okay. Final thing on the agenda is the proposed budget for 2024. So much like we did last year, I'd like you guys to give it some thought on things that you um, not only would you want to see, so we can see if we can fit it into the budget, but things that you know we will need. Um, that way, when I go to crunch the numbers, I can make sure that we have categorically the right amount of stuff in each place. Uh, go into this knowing that we're all going to want and need to do roads. We <laughs> yeah. may not have the money. Uh, but the goal here would be based on projections for the, any of the incomes that we have with real estate tax and liquid fuels and everything else uh, to try to put the right amounts in the right categories. So I have a, uh, a concern about this. I, I uh, caught one of our auditors in a different situation, and she uh, was kind enough to, to give me some pointers on things. We need to review the auditor's comments on our budget as well. Okay. And, uh, Need to focus on that, um, uh, like give that some some developments. Um, okay. I need to, I need, I need you as a rubber ducky, but mm. also as like someone to help me go back um, to review some of the the remarks that were made for the last audit. Okay. Um, because because some of the scenarios bother me as far as a lot of it has to do with how we're placing things in categories, but I want to. We keep on making the same mistakes year after year after year. And what's nice is we have a, a thorough, very thorough bunch of auditors who are concerned about our, our, our budget and, and how we're designating our funds and, and how those are used. Some of it is just clerical on my part, mm -hmm. uh, but I want to make sure we are up to snuff with everything so that we're not doing it. We have to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If there's something yeah. specific that they call yeah. out, let's, yeah. let's make sure that yeah. we, if we can, we address yeah. it. There may be certain things that structurally we can't. Yeah. yeah. Um, it may be a best practice, but it may be something that isn't a like hard set requirement. Yeah. But absolutely. When we go to formulate the budget this year, let's sit down and make sure that we're not repeating any uh, previous missteps. Yes. Yes. And, and, and we seem to be, because it's like almost the same comments year after year uh, on, on, you just mentioned roads, if is is borrowing an option for us could we build I mean, into our budget just like we do when we purchase the equi yeah, equipment yeah we could we could do a capex right. on that that's, yeah is, that's... Is, is borrowing and like who would we borrow from like i know we have to have charlie give us an estimate and i know um it, it it's we we have to have PennDOT give us the go ahead with the road project yeah, yeah. that's if we're using liquid fuel if, if we're using liquid fuels yeah. so knowing that we receive x amount of dollars every year you know, could we budget that for this is payments on one essentially? Yeah, and could we do that? We, we can. Right. The, the concern, as we always, not, we is receive it. well, yeah. I mean, let's let's say we're taking the loan, yeah. we may not get the liquid fuels, but just laboring at a consultant, we, we probably will, right? Um, you then, if you structurally build in, like, okay, there's a, a two thousand dollar a month uh payment. loan that we have yeah. a payment on a loan that we have to make for redoing a whole bunch of roads, right? That's you know, twenty four thousand right. um, dollars. If we're only getting fifty two, that only right. leaves us with thirty thousand. Right. Every other bit of road work that we have to do right. during the course of that year. Right. So we have to we have to project this and then go into this very cautiously because yep. we don't want to put ourselves on a, a twenty year commitment and then be like, well, crap, we we did that, but now we have no money to do anything right. else for the next ten right. years. Right. We need to keep in mind that our our trucks are getting old. Well, right. yeah, that's right. that's one of the other concerns. We're we're, we're plugging. Of everything it's, it's hard to have this big you know future forecast as, as to what the needs are and so to things just breaking down you have unlimited yeah. wants but limited resources exactly exactly but it's like we just can't keep on ignoring so we have to start yeah. no, addressing this we have yeah. to be as proactive yeah. as we can but we have to yeah. we have to be grounded in reality and, yeah. and that 
comes down to yeah. there again, there's going to be a small degree of Brendan Barrett on yeah. certain things. And then there's going to be things that we, we try to chase grants for um, case in point, things like the trucks, we might be able yeah. to find a grant for somewhere. Um, otherwise it's, you have to, you have to eat the elephant one bite at a time. Yeah. Um, as far as liquid fuels go, again, paying attention to things, liquid fuels is slowly, slowly decreasing as we're getting more and more EV vehicles on the road. Um, and so, you know, we don't know what's going to happen to that funding, whether something's going to, there's going to be a shift in conversion and there, you know, we're going to get liquid fuels funds, but it's no longer technically a liquid, liquid fuel. fuel funds, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sure. And regulatory stuff is always yeah. a little delayed. You will see that happen yeah. as there's more yeah. saturation on that. Yeah. The government will find a way to shift that tax revenue because they, they realize that it's, it's there for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, whether that's for us, for our roads, for the main, like the interstates right. and things like that, they're, they're not just going to go, well, shucks, everybody has yeah. an EV, now we're not getting that money. Yeah. So There's so many grants for so many, so many things. Because I, uh, every, periodically I start cruising and there's like nothing, nothing for townships as well. It, it's so frustrating. It's we're so just, frustrating. We just have to put a super highway through. And we do, we do, we do. Yeah. Um, okay. So with that budget, Thing. We'll we'll start yeah. working at that. We'll look at the auditor comments. But again, like I said, the, anything give us give me specifically the wish list and the the must list that you have. So like we know we must do this. We're like yeah, yeah. let's it'd be nice to put some more money into the ball field. Yeah. Like, let's let's get everything on the table and like we've done the past couple of years. See where everything fits. See how many things we can get to fit, and then see if there's things that we can move around to make more stuff fit. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be happy to to burn some some hours on on figuring that out but we need to come armed for discussion so that i know what yeah, i'm we what need I'm you doing. to do your computer work yeah absolutely um that's the last item on yeah. the agenda we don't have anything else with that we'll move into comments um i've said my piece on any of my comments through the section of the uh, sections of the meeting so i don't have anything irene do you no we got pent up to clean the s bridge so that was nice yeah, Excellent. yeah that was really nice thank you melissa mm -hmm. for those phone calls and i tried bought like six Anyone. I know, yeah. Like they called me back right away. It was like, when are they? Yeah. When are they delivering the boom mower? Did you say on the boom mower? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So the the boom mower came in Thursday. Yeah. Turn that thing loose. Let's go out and yeah. get stuff yeah. down yet. Yeah, we need, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not sure yet. No. Not yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We need to cut some things down. <laughs> she thinks yeah. back to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I swear that never happened. Yeah. I mean, is there, is there, is it's $250 annually, right? <laughs> Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, are we going to have to potentially turn that back on in the wintertime if they try to do the ice rink again? Which I'm honestly, I'm okay with them doing the ice rink, but 250 bucks is 250 bucks. But is there, yeah, 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 well, yeah. yeah. there's just so much stuff. <laughs> Whatever happened to the uh, the trailer thing? The trailer. I think we should contact somebody with the MTCA. Well, I think, I think that they're... Colin's waiting for some kind of an exhibit. He needs to know where it's going. Yeah, I'll... in order for the ordinance to be approved. I'll call Kelly. Uh, um, there's, there's like a, it's, it's in their ballpark. Yeah, right? I'll. In their hand. Yeah. I'll call Kelly. Okay. okay. Well, we need to make sure that it can be. Because if you could bring it up Thursday night yeah. and Colin, yeah, like, if, uh, if we're going to build and we're, there's going to be construction here that needs to be moved. Yeah, and I can go back in the minutes and see exactly what was said, but I believe it's yeah, they need waiting for something. In front yeah, of they <laughs> they have to sign the agreement, but in order to sign the agreement, we have to have the exhibit yeah. of placement to detail where it is. So yeah, we. I may have to get a, a number for Doug from somebody, but I'll, I'll call Doug and ask him for that. It doesn't have to be crazy. It just has to be like a Google map overview of like, yeah. here's where it's going to go. Um, so, uh, Jim, any comment for you? No. 
Well, well we, they, we think, we think they, that's the thing. It's, it's their behavior to come to us and say, this yes. is where we want to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But it is township property, though. So there's, yeah. Yeah. Um, which had mentioned that we need road crew. Yeah. We need road crew. Are we okay with doing an add on indeed with that? I can put that on yeah. the agenda. Yeah. yeah, put it on the agenda. I'm, I have no problem with that. We had a, a newspaper ad that we ran not too long ago. We can probably repurpose a lot of that. Yeah. Like, and then Melissa recommended that we start posting by November the latest replacement for her. So that we, which makes me very sad, but I don't need to go back to school. Um, I'd like to do it before that. Just before, okay. The last one, it was like such a drawn yeah. out thing. Mm -hmm. Right. But we learned our lesson yeah. from the last experience, and we would have to have people that are interested to come in. They're going to have to speak to you. They're going to have to speak to Melissa. This is what um, is expected. Can you show me uh, whatever yeah. skill? You know, because we could use the computer in here. We could use stuff in here. Can you demonstrate to us, you know, X, Y, and Z skill? Because we we need to make sure someone is confident, yeah. and that there's time for Melissa to say, "This is what your job is," mm -hmm. and and I will train you. You will come in X many days a week, and we're gonna you can come in for three, four hours a day, or two hours a day, so that Melissa can continue to do the work that she needs to do, but train up the person, and so that there's a smoother transition when Melissa leaves us to the new person getting hired. So. You know, you guys can actively have people come in when you feel comfortable doing so. And then once you've said, okay, these three candidates or this one candidate, these five candidates seem to be appealing to us, then we can interview them and then go forward and do a proper hire. Yep. It's an interview that I'm not getting me. Yeah. 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 One of the things that I think I mentioned before would be good is just play one of the meetings and have them take minutes for a section of it. Yeah. And see what, see what their minutes look like. Yeah. Yeah. The lessons are good. Yeah. 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 Just whatever skill set that you feel is necessary for this person to have to demonstrate so that we know that they're competent and can do the job that we need them to do. And that also, you know, Pleasant seems eager to want to wanna hang around. Mm -hmm. So I hate to have someone that just shows up and says, oh, no, I'm only going to be in three, four months. So many interviews where I just want a job. And they're like, no, I need you to have some. Faith in being yeah. at this. No, I think they see know? government and yeah. they think it's big bucks and yeah, it's not. You know, about benefits and whatever. Yeah. And it's not. Yeah. We have to make sure they're not scared by the building, too. Yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. What requirements do you want on for the road crew? Ah. <laughs> do you want CDL um, license? Well, but... I would say CDL uh, preferred. preferred but not required um, must be available. 18, 18 plus yeah. has to be able to. You know, lifts up to fifty uh, up to fifty pounds periodically. Um, experience uh, with trucks and snow plows and things like that. Or chainsaws. Chainsaws, yeah. <laughs> um, it is preferred. Um, maybe Not put something. Time. I was going to say it's part time. Um, no benefits. No no benefits. There. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. part time is kind of yeah, no benefits, sort of yeah. implicit in that, but. Um, yeah, basically, we want to just capture the fact that it's it's part time, sort of as needed, um, and it's going to entail a, a lot of it is going to be snow plowing, uh, road maintenance during the the spring and summer. Um, I'll I'll try to get like a bullet list of things, and I'll send it over, and then like you guys, if you have the same, send it over, and then we can kind of merge them all together, and, and hopefully have something that we can get cohesively out there. I know they were without road crew for a while. Yeah. Or yeah. Well, it's probably how much road master. Yeah. Okay. Jim, anything for you? No? Melissa? Um, I listened to that PSATS webinar about cybersecurity and awareness. There's a lot of good information, um, something to think about when we're getting those new computers and even for the new building hmm. when we're setting up networks there. There's been a truck that comes like once a week, would you say, mm -hmm. that sits here in the parking lot uh, at the park. They don't have any kids, kids get, windows, oh, no, no, no. and they just show up on the network, they just yeah. kind of stay here for two hours, three hours, and then leave. Yeah. Um, Sue's seen it. She told me she's concerned about it. 
um, but it's just proactive and pre preventative measures, so like I'm, testing our IP. I'm more secured about the physical security aspect of it. Yeah. Then. Yeah. That because the Wi Fi, I, like, the way Comcast works is if you've got a comp, piece of Comcast equipment, that Xfinity network is just there. So if yeah. you're an Xfinity customer, you can just use it. There's literally nothing you can do oh, about okay. it. Um, yeah. Any of our networks are either guest network, which are, for lack of a term, air gapped from the rest of the network. Like they're not, it. they're, like they're yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, which I ran into this, this morning. It's, it's, <laughs> it's having a, having a, a moment. Um, but the other ones are, are password protected. So I don't think yeah. you really have a, an intrusion concern from a digital standpoint. It's just kind of weird and creepy that there's a guy in a van sitting out by the, part of the playground. So. Yeah. Did it talk about CISA, CISA.co? So CISA.co, mm -hmm. um, when I was going through the pages, does um, a free government assessment. Is that something that we want to do? Once we have everything moved, we'll yes, okay. because I can... I could sit down right now and I could rattle off about 14 different things that are not right. Yeah. Um, but they're not, in the, in the terms of risk assessment, they're not critical. It's a lot of little stuff that just mm -hmm. kind of balls up. It's not like we have completely unsecured networks and we have yeah. everything stored like locally now anymore. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of little stuff. It's not anything that's going to burn the house down, but it's things. But if you were to have them do an assessment right now, it would be, Okay. It would be less than favorable. Okay. Where um, I told Sue this morning, um, I have quotes out. I called a couple of the places for the, the governmental licenses. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to want to do is uh, one of, it's a G3, which is the one that's like 20 something dollars a month that has the, the full office installed. Put that on Sue's computer. And then like your computer, Melissa's computer, the computer here would get a, what's called a G1, which is the kind of the, the intro one. You have access to Teams and you can use the office suite over the internet, like the web version of it. Okay. It's just not locally installed. It's not quite as nice, but it works fine. Okay. Difference is that one's eight bucks a month. Okay. So I'm waiting for the quote to come back. So that's something that we could actually like put on the credit card and have as a recurring thing. And build that into and, the budget. And build that into the budget. That's okay. going to be part of the technology offering. The other thing is once we have the, the licensing in place, um, Sue, I'm going to be looking at moving our domain. Re our domain registration has to stay, but the hosting portion of the email over from Namecheap over to Microsoft, because that's actually included as part of that license. Okay. Um, so we would be able to get rid of the email cost with Namecheap and we'd be over with Microsoft. And there would be okay. like an office at Marion TWP Burks. There'd be a treasurer at Marion TWP Burks. There'd okay. be a meetings at Marion TWP Burks. We'd have a, a, an email account essentially for each one of those things. Once the domain is shifted over, then I can work on setting up Azure and getting all the computers on the same functional domain. Um, they'll be on the same network, so they'll be able to talk to each other here, but that will allow us to have some of the other stuff that I've talked about, of like the, the centralized account management, so that, Sue, your password is set to change every 45 days. Oh, good. No, no, I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm just making an example here. That. Yeah. So, but the, the point is, if you changed it, you could sign into any one of the other computers yeah. and it's automatically going to know the password. So that's guaranteed that CISA thing would find uh, us deficient in local accounts. So that's a big no-no in any, any enterprise setting. Um, unfortunately, that's the nature of what we have to manage here because we don't have that, that interconnectivity for a domain. Um, so, uh, and there's, there's a bunch of things. It's, again, a bunch of little stuff, but it's a domino effect. We have to get the first one started before the rest of them fall into place. So. Uh, so do you still want Melissa to, like you, you contacted that. With the, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. If want, she's got a, an inroad, please continue, continue chasing that okay, because okay. I don't know how fast or slow the other places are going to get back to me. So. Well, also, you know, the other three other like, ones. I didn't hear. I was just yeah. Going yeah. List. Like yeah. Yeah. So we'll keep at it, but I have a couple of places that I've, I've called and talked and left messages with and things like that. So really it, it, one place or the other, they're going to be roughly the same. We're okay. talking like they're okay. either going to be exactly the same or within pennies of each other. So it's not like we have to like bargain hunt on that. It's a, you just have to buy the license from somebody because you can't buy it directly from Microsoft. That's so ridiculous. There's, there's, there's so many ridiculous hoops you have to mm -hmm. jump through. Like I hate middlemen. I really mm -hmm. do. Yeah. I, I deal with this all the time at work because, like, again, 
big corporations too. They can't they can't buy directly from Microsoft, so we have to go through other vendors, whether it's CEW or whoever. And that's that's the name of the game. Wow. One that's long business. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Sue. Yeah, I forgot to put it in my folder. So that U.S. dollar LIBOR settlement notification, yeah. Irene. Yeah, you guys just take a look at it. I, so, I read it over, and I thought I replied to you when you first sent yeah. it. It doesn't apply to us. We yeah. don't have anything that was LIBOR. Any of those financials. Okay. And even like like I like that column. Even let's say our credit card services. Was a participant with any of that, those kind of transactions, it doesn't affect us. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. I think that was the one, you yeah. got two recently. I think that was the one that was from 2007 to 2010, right? Yeah. Well, like, some we, of that stuff is even yeah. shredded. Like, yeah, well, even, even if. How do I know? Even if it was shredded, I can guarantee you that nothing that we did would have been using a Weebor as an instrument. Okay. Yeah. Um, and even if it was, it would have been probably through a third or even a fourth party, which doesn't, we're not yeah, applicable for us. that. Yeah. We're such a mom and pop shop. Yeah. Just pay bills. Well, like, I know that CCS don't have a credit card. Card it's, member it's, services. You it's, know. It still yeah. wouldn't have been a LIBOR. Yeah. And if card member services was using that yeah. instrument, it, it still it wouldn't apply to us. Yeah, it would apply to them. Okay. Yeah. So just, so like, just, like, just, just completely yeah. ignore it. Just okay. file it. Move on with everything yeah. else. Okay, that's all. Okay, fantastic. Well, seeing no other items on the agenda and no additional comments, I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. The time is now 10.41 a.m. Second. Well, Peter, Hi. Irene, Hi. Jim. Okay, Peter. thanks, everybody. See you on Thursday.